In this video, we will be examining some of the new and exciting features available in Ikena Forensic version 6. Upon launching Ikena Forensic 6 for the first time, users will immediately see the updated and redesigned user interface. We have, uh, within Ikena Forensic 6, we have two completely new uh, enhancement filters. The first uh, new filter is our radial distortion filter. Uh, this filter is designed to correct different types of uh, lens distortions uh, that may be present from the camera source. And this can be adjusted in one of two ways. The first would be using a manual mode for adjusting and correcting that type of distortion. The second mode would be using a, uh, a specific camera preset, which comes uh, uh, already loaded in Ecana Forensic with a lot of different a can, a camera uh, makes models and lens models, and those can be applied uh, if, the, if the user knows the, the specific camera and lens that was used to capture a video and can apply those different presets and automatically correct any lens distortion that may be present in the video. The second new filter in Ecana Forensic is our false color filter. The false color filter uh, allows us to do a couple of different things. Uh, in, the, in the first method we'll see here, we can invert the image, so basically we can convert uh, the uh, blacks to whites and the whites to black. So we can turn it on and turn it off and flip that color space. We can also apply our jet mode, which allows us to apply different colors to different types of, of shadings or uh, gradients within the image. And this, in some cases, can bring different details to the surface. Uh, which aren't uh, viewable under uh, in, in the native uh, viewing of the video. Uh, the last mode that we have here is a manual mode, which allows the users to manually adjust uh, the red, green, and color uh, uh, palettes and spaces within the video separately uh, from each other. And again, this can bring out uh, additional uh, detail within the image or can correct uh, for uh, uh, different color imperfections within the video. One of the next uh, new features that we're going to look at in Ikena Forensic is our uh, redesigned, uh, uh, newly implemented uh, tool selection uh, uh, feature. And this allows us to control how the mouse interacts within the, the, the video workspace. So right now we have our arrow uh, mouse tool selected, and this allows us to pan around within the video, zoom in and zoom out, um, and it doesn't affect anything else that we might be doing in the video. If we want to then uh, um, uh, work with our, our newly uh, refactored crop tool, we select our crop tool button. And now we can make adjustments uh, to how we have the video cropped in Ecana Forensic. And in previous versions, we would have to make these adjustments to these lines manually. Well, now using our new crop uh, tool uh, function, we can adjust any of these lines and move them uh, using our mouse. Then we can also move the entire crop box itself around and move it back into place. And then if we want to, once we're done cropping our video, uh, we can go back and lock it into place by selecting our arrow uh, mouse tool again. And now we can click on this video and it won't uh, um, make any changes to our, our uh, how we have the video cropped. By applying our enhancements, this gives us access to two other mouse tool options, the first being for our new, newly refactored uh, region of interest filter. And this has been redesigned to make it uh, easier and faster to uh, draw new regions of interest and apply them to the video to resize them uh, from any angle, from any side, or to simply just redraw them. And then once we have that region of interest in place, we can lock it by going back and selecting our mouse uh, arrow mouse tool option. Uh, we can also use our compare split uh, function uh, as well, and this allows us to move uh, this line around with our mouse. Um, we can't move our region of interest box around, and we can't uh, make any adjustments to the crop uh, to the how the video might be cropped. Uh, so we don't have to worry about accidentally um, moving uh, any of those elements around and then having to go back and, and uh, reset them. So right now those objects are locked and all we're controlling is just our compare split line. 
we can then uh, disable that by going back to our mouse uh, arrow uh, selection tool. And then if we want to make any adjustments to our region of interest, we can go back and select that again and then lock it into place. So again, this makes it much, much easier to navigate around different elements within our video and to know exactly how our mouse is going to interact within our video. Another new feature that we have in Ecana Forensic is the ability to automatically uh, create uh, or generate the IPD frame data. So um, here we import a new video and it's uh, already done. Uh, it processes uh, the IPB, IPB information in the background as we're uh, importing the video into Ikenna and notifies us when that process is complete. Uh, in previous versions of Ikenna, we would have to import this video in first and then go up to our tools and manually select that option and wait for it to finish processing before we could do anything else. Uh, so now you'll see here at the top uh, right part of our uh, video workspace that information is presented. We can advance a uh, frame ahead of time and see the frame number and the frame type. So here on frame, for, frame for number five, we have a, a P frame, which is a predictive frame. We can advance that forward. We can see all the frame numbers and frame types uh, for Ecamm Forensic. Again, that's just a, uh, a nice new feature that just uh, simplifies the, that step for the user. It's one less thing that the user has to do. It, it will automatically uh, do that for any video that we import into Ecamm. And you can, uh, you can also disable that uh, in the, the tools options menu as well. Another uh, new feature in Ecana Forensic is the ability to uh, import a sequence of stills in Ecana Forensic and adjust the frame rate. So we're selecting our sequence of images. We're going to concatenate them into a single file. And now, um, by default, uh, the sequence of images will play back at uh, five frames a second. But um, if our sequence of images is actually captured in a different frame rate, we can come over here to our FPS button, select it, and then we can enter in a, we can select from one of these values in our drop down list, or we can manually enter a custom frame rate. So in this case, I'm going to enter 10, and it makes that adjustment to our video, and we can go ahead and play that video back at 10 frames a second. So these are just some of the new and exciting features available in Ecana Forensic 6. We hope that you'll try it out today. Thanks.